Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Crystal Heart. My name is Crystal and it is Friday Night Live time. So if you are in here or just getting here, say hello, introduce yourself. Hey Rebecca, hey Prasita, happy Friday y'all. Just getting here, say hello. Oh, I got yourself. to mute myself. Okay. Hey, Sheila. I'm going to try to not uh, get so delayed on the comments like last time, but um, it's hard to keep up sometimes. But how is everybody's Friday going? So tonight, um, I don't have a whole lot going on, but I did want to talk about a few things. So I did want to talk about the quilt along slash stitch quilt along slash stitch along with the shine on pattern. I wanted to, um, I've completely forgot what else I had to talk to y'all about. I don't know, but that was the main thing. Hey, Kathy. Oh, first time. Awesome. Hey, Tony. Amber, hey, hey, Karen. So I did notice in the um in the Facebook group, I forgot who posted that they did one of the blocks out of the shine on uh pattern because they couldn't wait. And then I saw the discussion about everybody like kind of anticipating the quilt along. So I do want to talk about the timeline with y'all and where I'm at with it. Sheila, what's going on with that? Okay. So, Y'all ready to talk about that? Hey, Sue. It's snowy in Oregon. I'm so glad that we seem to be done with the cold weather, even though it was chilly this morning. Oh, y'all, let me tell y'all. So, um, this morning I posted a video of uh, me and Kamani went thrifting and I posted that haul and we went to the craft thrift. Uh, we did all that shopping yesterday, but I posted it this morning. Well, y'all, I went, I said on my way home from uh, school today, I said, we're going to stop by the craft thrift again. So me and the girls got down, we went to craft thrift. Can y'all believe that I bought nothing today? I bought absolutely nothing. Uh... Karen, you don't know what fabric you want to use? I've kind of been collecting some fabric. I should have brought it over here. Yeah, so I went to the craft store today and I bought nothing. Kamani bought a scrap pack and some gel pens, more gel pens, and she spent $2 and I bought absolutely nothing. The fabric was, it was not, it was not hitting. There was not much. Yeah, Rebecca, it, I know, I know. I'm surprised too. I was trying to force myself to like something, but I couldn't. So I said, you know what? If nothing's calling and speaking to me, then I'm just not gonna uh I'm just not gonna buy anything. Hey Tamika. So Kamani was the only one who bought something. All right, so y'all, let's talk about this quilt alone. Let's talk about the quilt alone. Um so this is the book. I'm sure all of you know, because y'all all probably have it already. So in the book, if you don't have the book yet, in the book, um, they do break it down for the block of the month. So we're going to do it just like the breakdown in there, and we're going to do it slowly. So, um, Sheila, we... I'm telling you, we cleaned them out. There's nothing. We're going to have to wait till uh, Fat Quarter Shop ships, gives them some more stuff for them to uh, go through. So, yeah, we're going to go. We're going to do the quilt along exactly the way that she has it broken down in the book. Um, starting in April. Uh, Kathy, you did the cross stitch already. So... The cross stitch, I wanted, you see, the only problem I had with this, this is the cross stitch, y'all, is beautiful. I'm doing the cross stitch, too. The only problem I had with the the doing the cross stitch and the quilt at the same time is the way that is broke, the block of the month 
for the quilt is broken down in the book does not it's not in a way that you can do the cross stitch at the same time because like okay let me see if i can explain this let me get back to the beginning okay so month one does the beehive block um the beehive block the bees knees block and the bliss block so that is let's see which blocks that is Let's see. So that would be starting with uh, this block. So this is like in the middle of the quilt. But because with a quilt, you can do the, you can move around and then hook it all together at the end. In the cross stitch, like people are not going to do this block, then move all the way to this block, then move all the way to this block. So doing it like coordinating doesn't really work which i was hoping it would amber you need to get background fabric i'm gonna try and squeeze by with a fat quarter bundle of fresh fig favors Ooh, i hope it is enough um so what i did was i took the the stitch i'm just you this is not this is okay. I took this the cross stitch, I put it into um an editor and I blocked it off into 12 sections. And I'm thinking that you know we'll just work on it that way. Section one is for month one, section two, section three, like that. That's not the way I wanted to do it, but that's the way we're gonna do it, I guess. So um so yeah, what do y'all think about that? And that is starting in April. And it's a it's a 12 month situation. I know that some people like to move quickly, which is fine. They can move quickly. But um, I also don't want to be stressed out about me having to get everything done for videos and all that. And for the people who like to take their time, because we're always doing other stuff. We're always working on other projects with the Soul Sampler Roulette. That's taken up like most of my uh sewing time and um well once we get to the summer months i'll have more time but whenever we're homeschooling i don't have all that time i like doing exactly in the book april gives me time to pick my fabrics right okay that's what i was thinking karen i'm a slow mover rebecca okay that's what i was thinking um for the people who are just deciding they want to do it um when I put the video out, maybe Monday or Tuesday, for new people who maybe aren't in the Facebook group and don't know the discussions, and but they want to get in on it, it gives them time to get the book, get the fabric together, and all of that. And um, gives gives me time to get all that together, too. Even though I'm doing this scrappy, y'all. Y'all know all this fabric I have back here. So I'm going to put this fabric to use in this quilt. I'm, I want to stay with the colors um that that are used because i love the way this looks but i'm gonna scrap it out yeah we all have projects yeah wait fat quarter shop has the book for 19.99 right now let me look that up because that's the cheap if so that's the cheapest that's the cheapest we would have ever seen it i think 23 23 um 99 or something is the cheapest i've seen it so far i'm gonna look it up uh we should have zoom where we gather a show of fabric oh yeah that would be fun or the chat like um like what rebecca did that day on that i couldn't do the live she did the chat in the group and it was like a zoom but it was on facebook that would be fun and everybody could show their fabrics that would be fun it's on sale this month it is y'all it's 1994 oh my gosh so y'all Sheila, you got you got it for 1994. It's 1994 right now. So 
If you don't have the book, whether you're watching this now or on replay, if you do not have the book right now, March, as of March, what is today? The 10th. Fat Quarter Shop has the book on sale for $19.94. That's the cheapest I've ever seen it. And I'm wondering if they're putting it on sale because of the uh, the new fabric collection that's coming out that they're doing a quilt kit for. Trying to get people to buy the book. Because does the book come with the quilt kit? I don't know. Oh, it does come with the book. So, I don't know. Hey, Boogie, that's Kamani walking in. You already know. You don't have to go under the wire. Okay. Boogie, I have a stack of fabric over there. Can you get me that fabric? Say hello. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> but uh, I think their shipping is a flat $5. Okay. <laughs> All thim Thimble Blossoms patterns are only are only sale as well or on sale i guess is what i was trying to say okay i'm a um because i love thimble blossoms i love uh anything bonnie camille or just camille now do you have a fat quarter affiliate no i do not i i have a um just the what is it called the referral link and the referral link is not all that great. Like anybody can have a referral link. If you use Fat Quarter Shop and if somebody else uses your referral link, you get a coupon or something. I don't know. I've had somebody use my link one time and I didn't use the coupon. I'm hoping to scrap it up to a bit light on navy fabric. Me too, but have just ordered a scrap bag from Amazon. I don't want that boogie. Don't worry, leave that alone. That's for sissy. Leave that alone. Uh Hey, Sheila. Wait, why is Sheila saying hi? You've been in here, girl. Hi. Oh, hey, Leanne. Maybe that's why. Camille has a new fabric line coming out. Yeah, Camille has that, Um, what is it called? Shine, shine Bright? I'm coming right back. No, that's not it. It's called um, Lightheart. Lighthearted? Oh. The book does come with the quilt kit. I was wondering if they were recoloring the book for it. Oh, I wonder. I wonder. Yes, Teresa, she does make scrunchies. She sells them at um at different vendor fairs markets. Her and her sister, they sell stuff. Her and Cam. Sheila. Sheila says she waves to you when you wave. Oh, get the other um fabric. Okay, I'm going to show y'all the fabric that I have that's um, Bonnie and Camille that I kind of was just gathering. Not all of it is the exact fabric for, um, what's the name of the collection again? For this quilt. Is it? Is it? All right, y'all. I never know the names of things. I just know things when I see it. No, the scrunchies are not in the Etsy shop. What are you doing? Can I do a mini hmm? Okay, then can I do a mini Oh, home? the fabric collection is called Shine On. Okay, dude. All right. So, and these are all the fabrics that they use in the quilt. In case you for the ones who don't have the book yet. These are all the different fabrics. So, I have some, but not all of them. I got water in my nose. So, and I don't, I have this one, which is used in the book. I don't know the names of everything, but I have like a good bit of that one. So when we come to that one, I have that one. Uh, This one, I believe is also used in the book. Is it? Maybe it's not. But I have this one. I'll use it somewhere. And then I do have this one, which is used in the book. And I put this with that. This is not used in the book, but I thought it went well. 
with everything. Is Keith here? I don't know. Um, hold on, y'all. Does fabric come in a bundle somewhere? Uh, there used to be quilt kits. I don't know if you can still find them. After you're doing, can I do mini Uh, and I'm, oh, Celine said, yes, she's here. Yeah. I may, I'm, I did get contacted by somebody who may know someone hey, who, can, who can get some fabric bundles together, but. I have to get a head count for that first and then go back and contact her and she'll have to let me know. So I can't say that we will be able to do that, but I have had somebody contact me about it. She said, hey, come on. It was a kit, but now they're doing it again. Yeah, and Rebecca got that kit, y'all. I was there when Rebecca got that kit. Um, So y'all just pay attention to all the information that's going to be coming out in the future, I'll let y'all know if I'm able to find somebody with the fabric, if for the ones that want to buy a whole kit of it. I got this one, which is not in the book, but it resembles one of the fabrics in the book. Is it in the book? No, this one, it, I don't know. I can't tell if it's the same one, but if not, it resembles one very closely. It is the same one. You think so? Uh-huh. Okay. I can tell. So I have that. And then... The uh, little rainbow ones, I had so much of this stuff, y'all, so much. And I put them, I put it in so many different projects. And now I'm like mad that so I did not those. save all that fabric. Because I had so much of this stuff in all the different colors. So this is all I have left. What? You only have Okay, that? it goes, okay. The red flower one. This one? This one, yeah. Okay, and then this is this is not used. This is a wide back that I got at the craft thrift. And um I just pulled it to see if I could put it if it can fit in somewhere, but it's actually a big big piece. Is this in the book? Uh, that, no, it's not in there. And then this is actually not, oh, the light kind of washing it out. This is not in the collection at all, but it resembles one of the fabrics in the collection. So I pulled it, I pulled it. Pulled it? What do you mean pulled it? It's a fabric pull, I pulled it. I feel like you can mix and match from a lot of the, yeah. A lot of their lines just go so well together. Wait. Okay, this is just a small piece of a line of a of a line. I don't think it's in the quote, but it's just a small piece. So I never know when I could stick this in somewhere. I I don't think that big piece is big enough for a bag for the backing. I don't know. I have to see. And I think I do have even more of this. Yeah, I have a whole nother piece just like this up there. I may have a few pieces because I remember picking this up a couple times. Oh. And then this is fig tree. It's the same thing. Sunday stroll again. Okay. See, their their collections just go so well together. I love it. Just like Dwell in Nantucket Summer, to me, are like perfect together. Oh, look, I have this one too. Do you see that one in the picture? Let me see. I don't I don't think. I think all the ones I think it's just slightly Yeah, it's in the picture. It's just slightly different boogie. But you know what? I'll use it in place of that. Okay. So I have no problem interchanging. Okay. And then this is Fig Tree. I just bought this. Uh I just hauled this in the video I posted this morning, I think. It is not it matches um there's some fabric that it kind of looks like. I, I don't know if y'all going to be able to see this. My face. But this one here and this one here. It kind of resembles that. So I'll use it. You just think Homegrown, you home someone had a lot of shine on it. Some of their other lines on sale for six lines. Y'all check that out. And um, K 
Karen, Karen posted a uh, fat quarter bundle this morning. It just, it was, uh, it was Dwell. It wasn't this. It was Dwell. But it was the reds. And I love the blues from Dwell. I feel like you could mix and match from a lot. Of, yeah. And you know what? I had another piece, Boogie. You didn't see any more fabric? No. Oh, let me see. I want to do a mini haul. You want to do what? Mini haul. Okay. I know that I, I uh, in one of my bundles, I had this fabric in it. But I must have put it in my blue bin. If anyone has scraps left over, they did this so long a while ago, and I had someone give me their scraps. I bet other. Oh, probably so. Probably so. We can go check to see. Yeah, I gotta find that little blue fabric. So that's my collection of what I have. This you found it. That's the the scraps that I've um found in my stash that is it this? No, baby. Put that in here. That's uh that's trash scraps. I probably put it in the blue bin boogie. I'm gonna find it later. Okay. Yeah, I did, Sheila. I did. That's why I'm wondering. I must have put it in my blue bin because I saved all that fabric already. Oh, okay. Here's another uh, source, y'all. Jenny Lane on Etsy. Um, so yeah, are y'all excited? I'm so excited. I'm so excited. What? Oh, That's really and, okay. So aside from Shine On, I'm sorry, y'all kind of got a headache. Um, aside from the Shine On quilt, Kamani wants to do a little mini haul for what she got at the craft thrift today. Since she was the only one that bought anything at the craft thrift. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Sheila, start pulling fabric. You're this fabric. Okay, Kamani showing her stuff, y'all. Yeah, she bought a scrap seven. pack. How much are scrap packs? One dollar. One dollar. This bow oh. thing. This bow oh, yeah. fabric. <laughs> the lighting. Yeah, the light is kind of uh, washing out. You gotta kind of block it a little bit. Then this. You're attracted to gingham. Well, this is not really gingham, but. Almost. And then at the back, it's the same thing as the second yeah, one. Yeah, so another little pink pack. She loves pink. Pink is my favorite color. Hey, Regina. Miss Teresa says pretty. All right, what else did she get? Hey. Yes, Sheila, pink is her favorite color. What is this? I have no idea. <laughs> oh, it's a photo album. You kept calling it a book. It's a photo album. Oh. Well, you can get you some photos. 50 cents, she bought a little photo album. She didn't know what this was. She just wanted to buy stuff, and she saw 50 cents. I wanted to waste her money. Teresa says she loves all gingham. Gingham is so cute. Karen says, I don't have a stash, Whoa. so I will have to buy. I'd like to find something that at least goes with something I have. Yeah. No. I can't wait to see the variations that everybody does. <laughs> Kathy, Miss Kathy said you did great. Okay, so here is her. Ooh, yes, we do. Gel we pens. Do. She loves gel pens. So the gel pens are 10 cents each. Oh, that one has ink boogie. Yep. Because sometimes she picks up some that doesn't hardly have any ink. Okay, hand them to me and keep, keep showing and hand them to me. 10 cents. Wait, does this one even have ink? I don't know, but. I can't tell. You didn't try it before you bought it? Before you bought it? I did. Oh my You're goodness. supposed to um, try them. I did. Where did the cap go? I don't know. I see where you need six yards for background fabric. Does anyone have a stores where you can get that? 
Mm. My background fabric will most likely just be something it. from. There's ink in it. I might do a scrappy background. Because I have, you know what, y'all? I have a lot of the white on white of this one, the rainbow one. I have a lot of that white on white. It's probably not enough for the whole quilt, but I think I'm going to try. Then a green one. Green. Oh, this one. The cap fell off and I don't Me know. Me too, where Rebecca. It went. Okay, pink, green. This blue. Blue. That one has ink in it. Regina, we're talking about the shine on quilt, the sew along, the quilt along, and the stitch along. Another green, but it's sparkly. Then a yellow. Yellow. Orange. I think I got the whole rainbow. <laughs> Orange. Red. Red. Yo. I think I got the whole rainbow. You really bought a whole pack. And then another blue. And then a black. Oh. And then a random black. Because I need it. Because she needs it. <laughs> and that's all. All right. Thank you, ma'am. We didn't show the... Yesterday we didn't um show the um the puzzle that I got. Oh, um, well you could just tell them about it because the puzzle is in the living room. No, it's on the table. Okay, do you want to tell them about the puzzle? Yes. Okay. Ooh, that sounds fun, Regina. Wait, uh, okay. let me read the comments. All right. <laughs> yes, do that, Sue. Orange, you glad you got those pins? <laughs> Miss Sheila say, Orange, you glad you got those pins? <laughs> Gel pins are amazing. I love them. Miss Teresa said that. Yeah, I like them. Okay. And she wanted to tell y'all that she yesterday she got a puzzle at the thrift store. I forgot about that. Mm -hmm. It's an Encanto puzzle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, y'all. Everybody look through the fabric that they have. All right, Boogie. Are you done with us? Bro, I want to be in this whole slide. <laughs> she's not ready to leave, so I guess she's staying. All right. I have something else. I can't even think of what else I had to talk about. I don't remember. What? Oh, your quilt. My quilt. Rebecca, she put um border on her quilt. Oh, that's the back boogie. That's her backing for her quilt. Huh? You're not in the frame. Oh. I got the border on. She put a Black Panther border. You still got to uh, take all those little threads out. Yeah. She put a Black Panther border on. She made a little sandwich and she got it's glued like mommy does. And she put a this pretty plaid. She had like a half yard of this, y'all. I'm I stole the rest of it. <gasps> she put this pretty plaid. That's on where the back. it's been. It's in that bag of fabric. I'm taking that back. It's mine. Miss Rebecca was... said nice. So yeah. she has to quilt it and put a binding. Yeah. Oh, she started trying to quilt it, but kind of messed up. So we have to unpick all of that. She yeah. she was doing some straight line quilting. It un it un it un um you know. Yeah, and this I don't know what went wrong with this. That was a little accidental free motion. So she got to unpick all of that. She got to learn how to scene rip, and unpick it all. Know how to do that, brother. And then she could finish it. Yep. Miss Sheila says it's looking great. Miss Teresa said, "Great job." Miss Amy said, "Well done." Miss Leanne says, "Great job." And Miss Rebecca said, "Can't wait to see the quilting." You have anything you need to say? Thank you. <laughs> okay. Nate's 
May is going to love it. May is her doll, her baby. And that's who the quilt is for, May. Oh, and, okay, y'all, I did a, I made a new design wall. Boogie. You, I, put, I pinned it on there. You can't pull it off. I made a new design wall. Somebody had asked me in one of my, um, in my most recent video about it. Uh, I'm thinking about making a video about it, but mine is done. So I don't know how I would do the video. Mommy. <laughs> yes, she is. Yes, she does, Rebecca. She can make a whole lot of uh, blankets for these dolls. Who? Miss Rebecca asked, what's your next project after this? Oh, another quilt for my dog. Oh, she has three babies, so she'll need to do three quilts. Yeah. Or it'll be, hmm, I'll try something different. Like huh. what? Try to do a medium quilt. Okay, yeah, you get bigger. This one, Rebecca, I love that quilt, y'all. I do. I'm leaving it there to uh, remind me um, to finish it because <laughs> I want to finish it. Expand the design. Well, I don't have anywhere to expand it to because I have a desk. This stuff is on this desk right here because I had to take it off the wall because my new design wall is a little bit longer than my old one. So I had to take some stuff off the wall. But there's a desk right here, so I can't really go any further this way. And then the bookshelf is over here, so I can't go further that way. So, I don't know. I think I'm sick, Mommy. Yes, you do. <laughs> oh, that would be sweet. And Cam, even though Cam uh, doesn't come on here... She actually is making a quilted pillowcase. Yeah, she is. Little bit. Oh, Go up. <laughs> oh. I guess I could go up, but like, oh. I don't know. Maybe I could. <laughs> My hair, mommy. What? Okay, but that's too close <laughs> to my eye. Look at my little baby hair. My hair fell But, off. I mean, I could just make a, a because it's it's sections, so I could just make one section in a, in a video, describe how I did it and all, because it's so simple. So, so simple. You design wall is your dining room table. The, the last one that I had, this is my third wall, and I think it's my best one. But my first one, um, it had batting on. No, did it have batting? No, no, no. It didn't have batting. I took a um, flannel-backed tablecloth and flipped it over, and it was the flannel-backed part. And that design wall worked pretty well. But whenever I rearranged my room... I wanted, it was getting full of, it was starting to get dirty. So when I rearranged my room, I was like, I'll recover it with some batting. So I recovered it with some like poly batting and nothing, I didn't know that nothing sticks to the poly batting. And the whole point of my design wall is that I like for the fabric to stick by itself. So I hated that design wall. That was the one that y'all always saw in the background. I hated it because I had to pin everything every single time. So this one is felt. And it still doesn't work as good as the flannel. But I like the way this one is more... Uh, it's flatter. You Sheila, yours is the bed or the floor. Motion. Mine was the bed first. Doing I don't think a design wall is completely necessary, but um, I like having it. But this is like the only wall space that I have to have it on. So every single other wall has something on it. Yeah, the flannel black back tablecloth, that held fabric really well. So that lets me know that flannel is the best for fabric sticking to. Why are you doing all that hand motion? Yours is flannel in. Yeah, flannel is best. I thought 
I tested the felt out before I used it and um, it was sticking. So I was like, cool. And then when I hung it up, it wasn't sticking very well. It sticks though. Like um, that little block right there is not pinned. The other stuff is pinned. That little block is not pinned. But mind you, the back of that block is flannel. <laughs> so that might be why. <sighs> Okay, you're shaking the camera, Boogie. Ooh. It looks great for your channel. I moved the cat to use the bed. <laughs> yeah, because I film, it's a good background to always have quilts in the background. But my my design wall is never, like, neat. It's just, it always just has, like, random stuff on it. Okay, Boogie. She's been super clingy today. I think it's because I was sick for so long that she couldn't um she couldn't give loveys. So now that she can, yeah, she's clingy. Yeah, it is because of that. It is. Mhm. Mm yeah, Rebecca, that's it. It is, and that's what I use it for. A mess. Oh, y'all. Um, I've gotten back on the Tula Nova, the EPP that I was working on. That's how the live started with me working on the EPP and um, the Tula Nova. Well, I had stopped for a long time. Y'all always saw this. Um, you're shaking the table, which is shaking the camera. Y'all always saw the Tula Nova hanging on my last design wall. And I finally, two nights ago, started back on that. So I'll be having more added to it soon. You're pushing me, <laughs> okay. Get up. You're being chaotic. <laughs> You're being super chaotic. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. All right, go see what uh what daddy is doing for, oh, for I already supper. Know what he's doing. No, go see what he's doing for supper. Oh, I don't know. Well, go. That's what I'm saying. Daddy go. doesn't know either, but he went and go get himself some um chicken stock. Wings. <laughs> Wing stock. She said chicken stock. <laughs> Wing stock. Did you do the February truck? Wing stock. I did, Tamika. I posted it uh in the group and on Instagram. Uh, I did not do the March truck um it wasn't my favorite and i had a lot going on so i figured i would just skip march and maybe next year if i want to do it i'll do it or maybe i'll do the house instead of the truck i don't know but i didn't do it <laughs> all that to say i didn't do it i did um if y'all didn't see in the group i finished the granny square afghan um, and I finished hand quilting my bed quilt, washed it, and it's on the bed now. I still don't love it a whole, whole lot, but it's okay. I like it. Bye, Teresa. Get supper, because I'm about to go get some supper, too. No, yeah, no, no. Why? Because daddy ain't fixing nothing. No, I told him I didn't want Wayne stop, so I got to find something else. Yeah, okay, how about you go find yourself some supper? I'm not hungry. <laughs> um, I just want ravioli for supper. Okay. But mm. my ravioli was hard last night because um it was cold since I was like doing something and I mm -hmm. forgot about it. And daddy put it in the uh, microwave like for one minute when it was supposed to be 30 seconds. And it and got hard. It got hard, like my pizza that that was rock hard, but it wasn't like rock hard. Really? Yeah, it was only in the middle though. So I'm gonna try not to forget about my food today. Okay. Yes. Good night, Teresa. All right. So, are you just saying that you're just staying here? Until their life is over, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Did mommy forget to talk about anything? 
Mm. She might need Rebecca, she does. Cam has a channel, y'all. Cam has a channel and they they used to make videos. Yes. They used to do skits, they used to do vlogs. Me and Sissy Sissy uh me to today me and Sissy are gonna do a video, a Roblox video. Okay, and Cam they both play like Roblox, so they do gaming videos. The first gaming video that Sissy No, did. Leanne, I did not make the March truck. I don't think I'm going to make the March truck. Are you okay? Uh, no. <laughs> Be careful. You got to keep stealing here. I got way too much going on in okay, here. I'll go over there and do my dance dance. Oh, my gosh. No, I'm not, I'm not going to. I'm probably not going to make the March truck. <laughs> Somebody come get her. <laughs> y'all come get y'all niece. Y'all come get y'all internet niece. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Leah say dance. <laughs> All right, girl. <laughs> I can't breathe. Yo, why don't have anything to talk about? <laughs> oh, who did the um the cotton cuts? Did y'all get did y'all do y'all cotton cuts? Did y'all get y'all cotton cuts? Where is Martha? Martha's not here today. <laughs> Thank you, Leanne. She's she's a crazy doll. Hey. <laughs> oh, mommy accidentally went. Okay, I'm back. I blacked myself out on accident. Mommy. Yeah. So did y'all do? Anybody got cotton cuts? I know Rebecca gets cotton cuts. Anybody else getting cut? Gets the uh puzzle mystery quilt, the village green. Uh, Kathy Cotton Cuts is a brand, is a, a company, but they do puzzle mystery quilt alongs. Martha and the, and all of y'all are the ones who told me about it, and I the it's every month they send you the fabric all cut and ready to go, and you just piece it together. So I just I have a video that I posted yesterday. I just did my clue too, my my second clue. Can you can you um print some baby pictures of me and Sissy, and I can put it in here. Yeah. Okay. Wait, how do you even look at this thing? Hey, Judith, from Butler, Pennsylvania. I've never been to Pennsylvania. But uh, Kathy is really fun. I love Sheila. You just looking at ours. I wish more people would post in the group so I could see all the colorways because I want to see people doing the Dahlia. Uh, Rebecca's doing the marigold, right? Uh, the cornflower. I want to see all of those. Um, some what's somebody's doing tulip. Tulip is the black and white one. Who's doing tulip? Somebody's doing tulip. <laughs> Did everyone else stay well? Yes, Leanne. Everybody else. Uh, nobody got sick but me, which is so weird. I never got COVID before. No, I've had COVID three times. And every time that I got it, no one else in the house got it but me. Daddy got it before? Daddy had it by himself for Christmas. Yeah, that was a bad Christmas. Two Christmases Christmas. ago, my husband got it. And that was a bad Christmas for me. He's a barber and a guy came in the shop, I guess they had it and they didn't know until after the fact. And then everybody in the shop got it. But, um, he had it once the kids never got it. Knock on wood. They never got it. And then I had it three times. Yeah. I'm doing the socialized two quilts along Kathy. Oh, really? Kathy, I started making videos about the socialize too, and I made two blocks. And I'm so glad that was it. Matter of fact, 
I have my blocks here. That is old. This was this was I think this was the second second or third block. That is old. Uh this is where I stopped. Heard mommy? Hmm. That is old. Alina, Alina, you're doing tulip. I knew somebody was doing tulip. And hey girl. <laughs> you was quiet. Old. Okay, stop talking about daddy being old. <laughs> These are some more socialite blocks because I couldn't decide what colorway I wanted to do. So I was making videos trying to decide on the blocks? colorway. And then eventually I just stopped making blocks. Using Dwell in Nantucket Summer. Oh my gosh, Kathy. Those are my favorite favorite fabrics. I have a stash. I'm collecting scraps for Dwell in Nantucket so that I can do a quilt. And um, pastry. What is it called? Pastry box. Who does the pastry box quilt? The pastry quilt box? Their March box is Dwell fabric with a beautiful pattern. And I forgot I was supposed to buy it. And I hope it's not sold out. So y'all don't go buy it. Don't go buy it. Nobody buy it. I gotta go see if it's sold out when I get off of here. You do another, but you're behind, of course. I'm going to get busy with my fabric tomorrow. I just remembered I have some half yards that might work. Ooh, show us, Karen. <laughs> show us in the group. I want to see everybody fabrics. Yes, love the dwell. <laughs> I love it so much. I'm crying. I'm not doing anything with those blocks. I think my comments are like way behind, but okay. No, maybe they're not. Yeah, Karen, show us the. Uh... I'm sniffing the line because I was crying. <laughs> Sheila, y'all don't go. Y'all don't go buy it. I need it. I shouldn't have told y'all. Y'all don't buy it. <laughs> Karen, get off of there. Don't go. <laughs> they, they might be sold out already. Because I saw, um, who did the video? Was it uh, Holly from Dandelion Stitches? I think she did the video. And actually, she gives away her boxes at the end of the video. And I was about to, um, but like, you know, she, you have to email her and she picks somebody and then you pay her shipping and she'll send the box. I was about to email her, but then I was like, I'll just go buy my box. And let somebody else get it. And then I forgot to buy the box. Oh, you're doing scrappy too. Okay, yeah, me too, Karen. It will be scrappy. Um, as I go along, I'll find fabric. Yes, Holly did. Yeah, Leanne, go check for me. <laughs> yeah, Holly, Holly unboxes everything. She she okay. If y'all haven't, if y'all don't follow Holly on Dandelion Stitches. She does um, a series, Battle of the Boxes, of the subscription boxes. And I'm I, I'm telling y'all, just about every single day she unboxes a, a quilt box. I love, I love it. Are you? <laughs> I, got, I just got the mini qu quilt box from her. She was so sweet. I will share photos. Oh, really? You did? You're in the Austin area. Yeah, Kathy, I'm in Austin. Yes, Holly gets every single last box. And from what I understand, she's paying for these boxes. From what I understand, at least. And my understanding is not all great, so don't take my word for it. But um, I love that series. So if you're not following her, go follow her. Kamani, what is going on? Do I have a background dancer? Y'all, when I edited the video with Kamani uh, yesterday, so much was going on in the background that I didn't even know until I went to edit the video. And y'all probably was cracking up. I did. <laughs> oh, channels, y'all. Channels. Uh, channels to follow. Channels to follow. Do y'all follow Scrap Fabric Love? I love her channel. 
I just discovered her like a couple of weeks ago. She's having a Q and A. Someone asked her how she can afford all the boxes. <laughs> they asked her that. That is getting in somebody's business. But what she said? <laughs> <laughs> I love Holly. Uh, that dandelion stitches, Sheila. Her name is Holly Schmidt, but she, I think her channel is called Holly Schmidt. But she's the dandelion stitchers. The bluebell treat box number nine looks like they still have. Okay, I gotta go get that box. I just don't. I y'all, I don't like spending money. As much as I do all these hauls, I don't spend that much money at a time at one time. And the box is actually pretty darn cheap for for the fabric that she got in that box. It, the box is forty dollars after shipping and tax is fifty dollars, which is more than. The so sampler box, but I think you get more fabric. I don't know. It was nice. It was a nice box. She hasn't had the video yet. That's Holly's channel. Yeah. 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 But um she's having a... oh she hasn't had the video yet. Okay. I wonder if she's gonna answer that question. It was an awesome box. Yo, stop talking about that box before y'all go buy it before me. <laughs> okay, but anyway, uh, Scrap Fabric Love. Do y'all follow her? She is in the UK. She does all, all scrap, um, scrappy quilting. Uh, she's a little long-winded, but she's the kind of uh, channel where you can just have her just talking in the background. And then kind of peep in and see what she's doing along the way because she shows you the whole process and I love that because it feels like you're actually like doing a project with somebody when they when when they have videos like that. But she does a lot of um, I I may have mentioned her before. I don't know. No, Leanne. <laughs> if y'all get that box and they sell out, one of y'all gonna send me one. It's gonna sell me one of y'all boxes. Y'all not gonna just buy the box without me. It has two dwarf charm packs. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like in so sampler boxes, you may get one charm pack. Do you get two ever get two charm packs? Well, Maybe. it doesn't look like I have to watch your live. I'm just in it. <laughs> Maybe you do. Ready, set, go. Go get the box. No, no, okay. I am there's nothing wrong with long with it. No, there's not. <laughs> there's not anything wrong with long with it. Because I am long winded. Sometimes I have to edit out a lot of stuff that I say. And <laughs> can you get out of the camera? <laughs> she has a great monthly box, about forty-five a month for twelve fat quarter. Oh wow! I gotta put that on my list, and I'm gonna forget, but I need to put it on my list. Let's let's all go buy the box and do it together. Hmm. Leanne, you trying to start a whole new quilt alone? It would be fun though. Always two charm packs. Okay, okay. Oh. There's also two third yard of fabric for piecing, but doesn't say what. Um, when she unboxed it, it looked like there was a, a second project that you can do. And maybe that's what it was for. Didn't the seamstress have two? I need seamstress. to go to the dentist, Matt. And a mini charm pack by Corey Yoder. I need I need I to go, go to get the that dentist. Box, and I don't want I don't like to um Order stuff while I'm on live because I'm not focusing and I'll accidentally order two and three. Okay. Um I need to go to the dentist. My teeth are crooked. There was another channel that I wanted to mention to y'all to follow, but now I can't find it. Kamani, can you move back, Bubby? I can't see my computer. Ow. What's your feet? Oh. Made me go like Ugh. okay, girl. I hurt my feet once again. Sorry. I'm trying to look for a channel. And now I can't find it. Yeah, what I was going to say about um, Fabric Scrap Love reminds me of mostly quilts. But she's a little more chattier. Quilting. What is this one? Quilting for the soul. I've, quilting for the soul. That's another one. A mini chunk pack by Kurt, you know. What box are you talking about, Leanne? We're talking about the uh pastry pastry box. Pastry. I'll come my bag. Yeah, please don't 
trip over the wires. I won't. <laughs> okay, yeah, so Quilting for the Soul, I like her videos because um, she's very just like blase, blase. She real. She just like, she not trying to be a YouTuber. She just trying to share what she doing on YouTube, and I like that. And yeah, just found Sugar Stitch Stitches Quilt Co. Well done videos. Sugar Stitches. Let's see. Sugar. Let me put it on the screen. Sugar Stitches. Leanne, y'all don't all need that box. Just me. I'm the only one who need it. Okay, just subscribe to Sugar. Ooh, her the quote in her um profile pic is cute. Ooh, okay. This looked like another good channel to check out. I need new channels to watch during spring break. <laughs> I should have. I should have. She's back, y'all. Hey, y'all. <laughs> pastry, pastry shop box. Hold up, I messed it up. All right, Sugar Still Stitches Quilt Co, Quilt Co is a good channel, y'all. I mean, I haven't seen the videos. It looks like a good channel, should I say? La, 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 do, 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 do. I found Quilting for the Soul when I was looking for ideas for... Okay, I don't know how I found her, but I just found her a few days ago. Um... I think she was trying to get to, she was like on the road to a thousand subscribers, but she's reached a thousand subscribers. Jessica Dayon is doing a scrappy quilt and she's up to block 36 in all types of blocks. Okay, let's see who that is. Money, Jessica, how many subscribers do you have? Uh, I'm almost at 2,000 subscribers, y'all. Wait, how much? Oh, she looks so cute and friendly. Let's see, let's subscribe. Oh, he's described? Yeah, she has a cute little smile. Alright. Yeah. So that's another channel I can check out. How many subscribers do you have? I almost have 2,000, booby. I'm at 18, almost at 1,900. No. 1,900. That's a lot of that's a lot of subscribers. I know we're almost at two thousand. Do y'all remember whenever I was on the road to one thousand? I thought I would never get there. Well, you're at one. I'm at one thousand nine hundred, booby. You're 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 thousand. Yes, one hundred more, and we'll be at two thousand. <laughs> My mother. Ooh, yes, yes, I did see that. If you're talking about um do you have that thing where people use in their um in their videos? It really is, Kathy. Where it's a countdown when to get to like one thousand or what you mean thousand or thousand that countdown for subscribers. I don't understand what you're saying though. What countdown? Like the countdown when you go to one, like, to... What is it? Is it something you can see or are people just saying it's a countdown? It's something that you can see. Oh, I don't have that. Like the little thing with the numbers? Yeah. Oh, no, I don't have that, Bookie. People do that when they're, like, getting a million subscribers. Mommy is far, far, far from that. They think Mommy is famous. <laughs> Mommy, I heard that. <laughs> you are famous. <laughs> do you know how many subscribers you have? I have one thousand nine hundred. Yes, I do know how many I have. You're you're famous. That's not famous, movie. <laughs> well, you're 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 in the between famous. You're between famous, mommy. No, I'm a long way off from famous, boogie. Well, you're almost famous. Mommy just has a whole lot of friends. <laughs> Are you sure you have friends? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Lucy. <laughs> the name of the other channel is called The Sleep Smith. Um, I need to start linking it in the description. But it's called The Sleep Smith. It's, um, uh, it is basically like sleep music and stuff like that. But I do have some old videos, cooking videos and cake decorating videos that are still up because I'm still getting views on them and I need that watch out, watch time. So I left those videos up. Rebecca, I'm trying to wonder, like, what's she trying to say about me? Yeah, I'm the most famous person. Maybe not, because my husband is like, people know him. He's a, he's famous. I don't know. He's not famous, but every but he does music and people people know him. That was a good one. And he's very friendly in real life. He has real of life. Of course, he's friendly. Daddy is popular. He has real life friends. Mommy stays in the house and sews and goes to the crafter. <laughs> you don't stay in the house every day. Well, only if it's like yeah, Lucy. Um, I need to link that. And also, me and Celine have another channel. Y'all need a sub to this channel for real, though. I'm about to put it in the other thing. It's called Coffee, Coffee Break and Crime. Ah, uh, now I gotta see how it's um, but it's called Coffee Break and Crime. It's our podcast, and um, we just put started putting the audio on um youtube but we don't have very many subscribers so we need to build that up i'm gonna put in thing coffee break and crime and we have some more stuff coming up on there but we just started putting videos on youtube you can comment yeah because i'm on my computer ow what? I went too far with this. And after you go and subscribe to Coffee Breaking Crime, Celine, my bestie who usually is in here, uh, this is her channel. And she does a lo-fi music channel, which is also, Rebecca says she uses uh, the music for background, but uh, this channel also has great music for background music for sewing and for doing work and being productive moonrise media sheila fall asleep i don't mind if you fall asleep to uh <laughs> to our podcast uh some that's fine with me it was playing that's all that matters go back and listen to it a second time <laughs> oh celine you are here well, this is Celine's channel, Moonrise Media. Y'all go follow that one. Subscribe to that one. She needs more subscribers. We need subscribers on Coffee Break and Crime. It's a lot going on, and I need to just start linking everything. But um, Hold on. I need to go here. it's a lot, uh, a lot of channels, a lot of content. Okay. Yeah, Sheila, it still counts. I'm shaking the table. You're shaking the t the uh, table, booby. I have I'm... my <sighs> I have a mount on my table, and that's what I used to film. And she, she's shaking the table, which is in turn shaking the phone. <laughs> Mommy, my teeth are cr crooked. <laughs> I need to go to the dentist uh, and fix that. Issues and yeah, Karen. Uh. Try go go to Sleep Smith. Try some of the uh the the um four twenty eight megahertz. Try the different frequencies. One may work better than the other. I also have some rain music on there. I'm almost done with that live. I'm hungry. Okay, you have a father who can also fix you food, and you do know how to fix your own ravioli. I know. So you don't need mommy right now. I know. I just want to be here for the whole time. So oh. I'm asking. Okay. Um, the reason why I created that channel is because Cam has, um, Cam has migraine. She has ice pick 
migraines and um she would listen to other people's channels to help her calm you know calm it down and to relax and to fall asleep whenever she's having Sissy episodes. Sissy doesn't watch your videos ever. I'm not talking about Sissy watching my video. You're okay, now you're in my business. Anyway, so she would listen to that type of music. So I decided to start make to start a channel and make that kind of music videos with that kind of music because I know that it helps her so much. So maybe that, you know, it can help somebody else. Also those videos can end up get gaining a whole lot of watch hours. So if you're looking for a way to make YouTube money without actually being on YouTube, doing those kind of things can can eventually work. Uh, I do need a pin in the Facebook group. A cross stitch swap? Uh, I don't know what that entails. Are you, do you swap with something that's actually already made or do you swap the um like the the projects that are unmade i don't know but tamika if you do want to do one in the group you can you can head that like uh you can do it in the group i can't do it like a everything because i got so much going on but i don't mind y'all doing stuff in the group on your own like i'll participate i'll participate i'll promote it but Sometimes I don't have the time to actually do it. Uh, what else? That's a good idea to make an a quilt pattern swap. Ooh, that would be fun. Y'all do those things in the group so I can participate. Yeah, I do. My right. daughter had ice pick headaches. She outgrew them. I I pray that Cameron outgrows them. She's been getting them since she was three years old, and she is twelve. She's been having since she was maybe three? four, three or four. She. Four, I think four. But anyway, she's been getting them for a long time. She's been tested, hospital stays, everything. I've been told it wasn't really happening. I've been told that I was combing her hair too tight. And then finally, uh, her neurologist that she sees now finally just was like, she, you know, diagnosed her with the ice pick migraines, cluster headaches, and uh. I'm so thankful that we found him. The patterns, the cross stitch patterns. Okay, yeah, y'all. I, I, cause I thought of, I thought of so many things that we can do like that, like swaps. But like I said, right now I don't have the time for it. Maybe in the summer, I have time for stuff like that. But I don't mind if y'all just like throw it out there in the group. Girl, Rebecca, the doctor told me that her pediatrician, she would have episodes and uh, they did sleep tests on her. They did uh, EKGs, like they did everything uh, to see if it was seizures. And then when everything came up negative, the doctor was like, um, maybe you're just combing her hair too tight. It was a man. And he thought... But he thought wrong. Yes, exactly, Karen. And I was like, sir, you know nothing about combing hair and especially combing black girl hair. And I'm not combing her hair too tight. I think because she had bows all the time, which were like little clip bows that did not put any pressure or tension on her hair, on her scalp. But he didn't know. He saw bows and he thought, oh, so, you know, whatever. That was many years ago. That was when she was like four or five. They got there for a period, but came back. Oh, man. I used to get migraines, too. I grew out of them in my 20s. I, I'll say they stopped in my 20s. Um, I still get headaches, but not like back in the day. Ooh, ornament swap. Yes, Leanne. Very crazy. He should have been, but you know what? Um, after we left him, him, so many people came out with stories about him and he ended up being like a horrible doctor, but portrayed himself, you know, to be just this great man who went to all of these countries to help people and he wasn't even really helping his own patients.
eight years ago, he was diagnosed with Kyori mal malformation. It was found. What is that, Lucy? I'm back. Gosh, I forgot to lock the door. She's back. No, I didn't mean lock it now, girl. I meant lock you out. <laughs> Me. Why would you do that? I Karen, your daughter it. stopped having the headaches after college. I found my nail. Oh, that's nasty. <laughs> oh, I'm trash. <laughs> I'm trash. Now I'm wondering, what is this? Uh, yeah. uh malformation. Yeah. I my A nail. condition in which brain tissue extends into the spinal canal. It occurs when part of the skull is misshapen or smaller than is typical, pressing on the brain and forcing it downward. Are you serious? That sounds freaking painful. Lucy, my niece had that surgery. So there's a surgery? You missed up. I did, Leanne. Is that why? <laughs> I had brain surgery for it. I don't get the headaches like I used to get. I feel much better. Oh, wow. That is crazy. My daughter had them too. Finally was told by her teacher that she wasn't eating her lunch or breakfast that school provided. So I had to start making her lunch and breakfast. They subsided. Oh, she wasn't eating. Wow. How scared for your parents. Ow. Man. So what were y'all talking about while I was gone? Fabric? We're talking about headaches. Headaches? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, good, because I need to know how to take care of Sissy. Sissy don't like to be bothered when she's having a headache. Yeah. She had bones removed and mesh put in. She was having seizures. Oh, wow. Wow. Who? That is, that is crazy. Man. Mm. That's crazy. Cam is on, uh, she's on medicine, but I don't know if it's working, to be honest. She's on, uh, on trachidity, trachidity as a preventative, of the, you know, to help the mi migraines not happen, but they still happen. I was getting really bad headaches and I thought it was migraine, but they said that I have sleep apnea. Oh, wow. Really? So what do they do if you have sleep apnea? Do you have to be on the machine? Part of my skull was removed also again. Man, that is crazy, y'all. Y'all walking around with pieces of your skull had to get taken out? There's no end to how our bodies can feel this. Girl, every time you turn around, you learn of something new. But the bodies are I don't are like just, the sound of this stuff. Bodies are amazing. They function the things that they are capable of is amazing. What does my brain do? Everything. My daughter is in college now. They started up again. I told her not to skip meals and stay off the salt. Yeah, the salt. Allergies. Um, make sure her meals are balanced. I use a preventative and it helped me not get them so much, but I still got them. And the preventative had side effects, so I stopped. Luckily, she hasn't had any side effects. Mm. I'm not going to say that because it kind of slows her thinking down sometimes. I think in the beginning more so. I think now she's more used to it, but the medicine makes um makes her um forget about stuff. It makes her um she it makes her um memory go bad. That's what Sissy said. It can. But we have a new we have an appointment with the neurologist coming up. We may try to change things. She can no longer ride rides. Oh, that would be no fun. No fun at all. Thanks. I never even. Thanks, Peanut Gallery. What, what does that mean? <laughs> all right. Did you eat? No. I'm okay. waiting for this live to end. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll go fix supper, I guess. Dinner. <gasps> can we bring them along? Leanne says, 
Kamani, it's okay. The brain is amazing. It stores so much information that you learn, and it's incredible. It really is. I know everything. You don't know everything. Yes, I do. You're capable of learning more. Always. When you're doing college, is that when you're, like, done with school? You can go to school forever if you want. Oh, no. <laughs> Who wants to go to school forever? That's boring. Some people do. I enjoyed school, baby. I did. Yeah, because old school is fun. Old no, I'm talking about college. Oh. College is boring. Literally, You've never been. Bunch. You've never been. I know, but I know it's boring. But college is just a bunch of people. Very truly in. A bunch of teenagers. In no, college is not full of teenagers. It's full of everybody. Anybody can be in college from 18, well, mommy went at 17, 17 all the way up until 100. Anybody can go to college. Mommy, nobody's going to be alive at 100. Oh, my God. Yes, they do have some people alive at 100, Boogie. Really? Yes, and you, like Ms. Sheila said, you don't have to be in school to keep learning. You learn forever. To me, because she would love that. Who? She said you should be on Disney. <gasps> I always wanted to be on. <laughs> she knows. <laughs> Miss Leanne said you know everything, so college starts in the summer. <laughs> but you always wanted to be on Disney. Yeah, I always wanted to be on Disney because. Oh man! You're watching Disney. Rebecca, I'm not looking forward to that. You're watching Disney. But we gotta we gotta get Cameron through first. Whew. We're on we're 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 there and it's not fun. It's not fun. Cameron, if you're watching this, sorry girl, but it's not fun. All right, y'all. Missy May. Missy May is hungry. So apparently we have to stop the live because we gotta go feed Missy. Why can't May. The, why can't we bring them along? No, mommy is not doing all that. You're on Disney Channel. <laughs> okay. Bye. All right, y'all. So I thank y'all for coming tonight as usual. See you next Friday. We'll see you next Friday. I think my next video will be talking about the, the quilt along. I have started my Soul Sampler Roulette, the next one, but that video will be next Saturday. Why are you doing all that hand motion? Because I talk with my hands, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway y'all all have a good night thank y'all for coming meet us in the facebook group if you're watching this and you didn't give us a thumbs up why not y'all i forgot to tell y'all and subscribe Wait, if they hear subscribe. if they hear they should be subscribed already but if y'all not then y'all hit the subscribe button because why y'all subscribe to you say why y'all here if y'all not subscribed i'm not subscribed to you you don't have a channel i know okay tell everybody bye Good night, y'all. You're on Disney Channel. Good night. Bye. <laughs> You're not on Disney Channel anymore. Goodbye. Help. Okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Don't do that to me.